This leak scared the shit out of me when I first heard it in 2007. And for the last 15 years I tried to learn it and practice it, but I never mastered it. Up till today. Today I relearned it, practice it and record it in under one hour. What helped me in the past to finally master these kind of tricky licks, you will find out in today's video. But first, let's check out this really cool yes, John Petrucci speed God. picking lick. Yeah. Here we go. Hey Guitar Champion, what's going on? I'm Justin Hombach, back from my practice cave and welcome to today's video. Well, for the last 15 years, this lick haunted me. I always tried to learn it, but I felt like, mm, no, the fingering, something's not right and I'm really sloppy and I'm kind of fast, but not really precise. And then I saw videos from guitar players in their early 20s, like 10 years younger than me, like Simon Eichinger or Baxty, playing those kind of licks with absolutely no effort. And I was thinking, what the hell am I doing wrong what these kind of people are doing right? But first, before we are going to that, if you want to learn this lick, then check out the link in the description box. There I provided you the tabs in Guitar Pro and PDF file for this specific lick, but also I've recorded a full lesson for this lick, note by note, what the right hand is doing, what the left hand is doing, which kind of scales we are in this lick. And yeah, check out the video if you want to learn this lick, link in the description box. While working on the Then of Speed Picking, my big online masterclass about speed picking, uh, something changed in my practice routine and in my practice habits that these kids that are now in their early 20s already did in the beginning. And this change in my practice routine and my practice habits gave me finally the skill to master licks like these that used to be really complicated for me. You can summarize all of what I'm going to tell you now into three things. Practice the right thing with the right mindset. Well, first let's talk about practicing. I think it's obvious, but a lot of people are still out there thinking that there's a magic pill or a magic exercise or something that you have to do or to play to not practice anymore. But practicing is kind of always the solution. Well, the third of the solution. Important is that you have to practice the right things. What I did in the last couple of years, especially while preparing everything for the then of speed picking, all the licks, all the etudes, all the workouts, all the stuff that is inside there. I stopped working on the lick and then recording the lick and kind of think, okay, now it's quite okay the lick and going to the next lick. I start to think more in rudiments like a drummer would do. So we have rudimental movement in our right hand and in our left hand. Rudimental licks that you can find in so many licks from shredding and rock guitar and metal guitar. You always find those rudimental movements and exercise and licks inside of that. Doesn't matter if it's the stairs lick like in this lick here or the Paul Gilbert lick or the Vinnie Moore Pepsi lick or whatever you want to call it or whatever I call it in the Zen of Speed Picking. But these kind of licks, it's like four or five licks you find in nearly so many shred solos and so many metal rock solos. So it's definitely worth to work on your basics. Then course practicing just the right hand. One big problem with this lick is the endurance and as soon as my left hand starts to cramp mud and not going to do as I commanded to do, my right hand instantly starts to fail as well. Why? Because my hands are not independent and I trained that independency by just simply just practicing the right hand, muting the left hand and practicing the patterns from your right hand. It sounds easy and simple in the first place. But take a difficult lick where you're working on for a while now and just practice the right hand and you will realize, ooh, without the left hand it's even worse and even harder. But there inside lies a lot of time the solution why we sometimes are not able to play certain licks. So practice your right hand individually. And especially one thing that is quite tricky here is that Petrucci is sometimes using hammer-on and pull-offs, but I 
that's not really my philosophy of practicing you know i don't want to simplify certain licks so i can play it and practice it with less effort so it's easier for me this is not the challenge that i want my practice routine i wanted to pick every note here which made it quite difficult it's not impossible and then the right mindset and i think it's really important to have patiently when you're practicing being focused having consistency and of course discipline and dedication while I think discipline and dedication is not so important to be honest than the other three ones because I used to be extremely disciplined but I was not focused on what I'm doing, I was not patient, I was not consistent in what I practiced. I was disciplined. I practiced every day at the same time for years and years and years but, but without the other three elements I didn't move anywhere, you know? I just was disciplined. So, Sometimes I think discipline is a little bit overrated. The other three things are also really important. I would highly recommend taking exercise or a workout or a tube from the then of speed picking and work for it, for example, like for six weeks or even eight weeks or even maybe six months, whatever. Sometimes it needs that amount of time to see progress. It depends a little bit on the difficulty and on your level, of course, but for me, it can take this time to make progress nowadays, but it's definitely worth it to take this time because it will cost more time when I skip from one leg to the next leg to the next leg to the next leg and never finished one leg, like practicing it that amount of times that it really got good and it really got perfect and I really can nail it. Even when somebody is waking me up after a long sleep with a gun in my head and say to me, play this leg. When I then can play it, then I know I can move on to the next leg. I made a video about these mindset a few weeks ago and it's definitely worth to check out because this will definitely help your practice routine. All right, and that's basically it. By practicing with the right mindset, being focused and consistent, I've practiced my basic techniques for the last three years, really the right hand individually, basic patterns that you all can find in the then of speed picking. And with that, I was able to learn, practice and master this lick in a really short amount of time. Like just took me like one hour or something like that. You can reach that level too when you start to practice the right way. So much for today's video. I hope you liked this little quick video. Again, check the link in the description box if you want to learn more about the Zen of Speed Picking and if you want to have the free tabs and the free lesson of this link. And I hope I'm going to see you in my next video. Feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. Cheers. Oh, the beard is back. Oh yeah. And stay progress. Goodbye.